We are learning about the cell theory and biological levels of organization. Cell theory has three major points. First, all living things are made of cells. This means that everything that's alive, from tiny pond organisms to blue whales to the moss growing in the woods, is made of cells, inside and out. So think of how teeny tiny cells are and just try to imagine how many it takes to form something like an elephant or a redwood tree. The second part of the cell theory says that cells are the basic unit of structure and function in all living things. Now this one may be a little confusing, but we are going to explore this in more detail in just a moment. The third part of the cell theory says that all cells come from pre-existing cells. This is just a fancy way of saying that cells make new cells, and those cells then make new cells, and so on. Let's go back to that second part. Cells are the basic unit of structure and function in all living things. What does this mean? This means that cells are the building blocks of life. Cells make up every living thing, forming their parts, giving them structure, and working to make sure the body is healthy and functioning. So we know that cells are the smallest unit of life and that they come together to form an entire organism. But what happens in between? This is called the levels of organization in biology. So we start with cells. Cells duplicate to form tissues. Tissues are groups of cells that are similar in what they are and what they do. For example, in your body, you have bone tissue, lung tissue, and stomach tissue. Tissues come together to form our next level of organization. So next we have organs. Organs are made up of tissues that work together to perform a specific function. For example, lung tissue comes together to form your lungs. Finally, your organs all work together to form organ systems. Organ systems are when two or more organs come together to perform a function in your body, like your digestive system. Another way to think about this is to think of a school. The individual students are like the individual cells. When they come together to form a classroom, the classroom represents tissues. Each grade level represents an organ because a grade level is a collection of classrooms. Finally, the different grade levels form the whole school, which represents an organ system. Just like the different organs of an organ system work together to help it function, the different grade levels of a school all work together to make the school whole. Created using Powtoon.